This last news story comes to us from Polygon, written by Michael McWhorter. New Resident Evil in the works with the man responsible for reinventing the series at the helm. The next mainline Resident Evil game is in development. Game director Koshi Nakanishi confirmed Monday in a video stream by Capcom. Nakanishi was the director of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and Resident Evil Revelations, and also served as a designer on Resident Evil 5. In other words, Nakanishi's games have both steered Resident Evil back towards its horror roots while also trying to reinvent the franchise in important ways. In confirming the new Resident Evil, Nakanishi said, It was really difficult to figure out what to do after Resident Evil 7, but I found it, and to be honest, it feels substantial. Nakanishi said he couldn't say more about the next game, the follow-up to Resident Evil Village, but hope that fans will look forward to its official reveal. 2017's Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was a major turn for the franchise, shifting the action from third person to first person and introducing a new playable protagonist, Ethan Winters. Village released in 2021 is said by Capcom to be the end of the Winters family saga, meaning Resident Evil 9 will likely feature the return of a classic Resident Evil hero or another brand new character. The most recent entry in Capcom's survival horror franchise was last year's remake of Resident Evil 4, which starred Leon S. Kennedy. The separate Ways add-on starring Ada Wong was released for RE4 in September 2023. Capcom is reported to have multiple Resident Evil projects in development, including remakes of Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica. There's no official release window for Resident Evil 9, but given Capcom's recent cadence of releasing a sequel or remake every other year, we could see the next Resident Evil as early as 2025. Uh, I am so hyped for this because let me tell you, Resident Evil 7. Banger. What an incredible game. Uh, up until that point, I had only played, Res I had played Resident Evil 5 on Xbox 360 and I loved it. Uh, but I didn't really have any other attachment to the franchise other than my dad playing it on PS1 way back in the day. And I was mm. way too young to be watching, uh, to be playing it, let alone even watching it. And I would sneak out my bedroom and crawl up beside the couch and watch my my dad and his cousin uh play it into the wee hours of the night until i got caught and sent back to the room and got in trouble uh. so like i didn't really i never i didn't grow up playing resident evil games i would grew up sneaking out and trying to watch it once in a while um so like five was like my first one i actually got to play and like really loved it and then i heard six was bad too much Garbage. action going on so i avoided that so when seven came out reinvented the wheel i'm like all right let's try this out i had my psvr at the time oh this is man, the game you played I, it that this way is, this is the game i beat it yeah i think i remember because i th did we have the podcast yet i don't i don't know super gamer boys existed at that point yet or maybe we had just started but yeah it was i, I so I've, I've probably talked about this before but it took me about eight or so hours to beat the full game and uh -huh. half of that Maybe like four, four and a half hours of that was in VR. Like I did basically in a, as like the beginning part. So like the worst part, the worst, well, worse as in good. The worst, the, when I say I worse, say, I mean, the, I mean, mean the best the part, I mean the best part, but the worst part to do in VR because it was, right. it was hell. Uh, I thought, I thought I was literally going to have a heart attack and die. Um, I played that part in VR and then I got, I was like, I need I need, I need to slow down. I got to take a break, you know, take the sucker <laughs> off. Um, but uh, very, very good game. I loved, love seven so much. And eight that came out, that came out, what, a couple years ago now? That game was fun, but. It was good. It wasn't great. There were great sections yeah. of it, but as a whole, it wasn't great. 100%. Yeah. It, not a it bad had... game by any means, just not, not as good as like four or seven or any of yeah. those. Yeah, like two remake was so good. Seven was so good. I haven't played four remake yet. I really want to. Uh, I should see if that's on sale. Actually, that might be worth picking up. Um, but uh, yeah, when when eight came out, it was kind of like, oh, OK, like again, it wasn't a bad game, but it was just uh, it was definitely like, a, oh, this is a an, oh, this is an OK game. I don't I would don't even wouldn't even say it was like good either. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was getting like right in the middle. That kind of like, oh, this is fine, except for certain. I'd say moments. it was good because it had except a, I was for say certain it had moments. A, yeah. Right. It, the moments, the good moments were really good. Yeah. So that's why I'm like willing to give them. It's a good game. Freaking dollhouse. Oh, that was one of the best parts. <sighs> that part was so good. I was terrified the whole time. Absolutely terrified the whole time. Oh. Or, 
I guys remember to like, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's clipped on our Twitch channel. If you go to twitch.tv slash super gamer boys, you can watch the highlight of me being chased by the freaking fetus monster in the basement, just screaming like, no, no, stop it. <laughs> like freaking out as I'm being chased by this thing. <laughs> just trying to close the elevator door and it's not closing. Yes, that part <laughs> like, was please, so good. Please. That part was so good. Oh man, I straight up like, I was like, I, I got it. I like, I I didn't, but I was like, I, I almost ended stream. I gotta right go there. to bed. I was like, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go, I gotta go change my pants. <laughs> like we're done. <laughs> uh, so like, yeah, it had really good, like really high high but then the rest of it was like not lows but okay. it definitely was just like eh, this is fine so so i'm excited i'm excited with this because it's again yeah it's the guy who made seven which was pretty much for most of the game the telltale end got a little wonky on seven but man like the atmosphere which it should. For the first, i mean you're dealing with t-virus you know yeah the the character, atmosphere so. and story for the first like three quarters of that game was impeccable so I hope we can bring back some of that magic with a new one. Um, you played you played seven, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did you get to play anything on on, on VR? I did not. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh no! Wait. Sorry. Seven. Seven. I did. Seven. I did. Or even like the um, kitchen demo. Saying. Like some people didn't play the whole game. Yeah. But they, that's what they had. Like the kitchen demo out. No, no. Good. I played the kitchen demo and I played the the okay. regular one in VR. <laughs> the kitchen demo was ugh, <laughs> life changing. How terrifying it is. We had a knowing that knowing that he's around somewhere and you can't see him and you can't just turn your character around like you have to turn around <laughs> to see him. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Nightmare. Yeah. They there was two different VR demos, right? Because there was a kitchen demo and then there was another one because there's what there's one where it wasn't really interactive. You just sat there like you were just in, like in a chair. Um, mm -hmm. I so we have a clip. I think I don't know. Oh, where is that? It was on. Was it, did I take it on my phone? I might need to go back and find that. There's a famous clip of JJ playing. Like, it's just me videoing him with the headset on, but he's doing the the one where you just kind of like the more like the experience one where you just sit there and like, you know, the hands come around and grab your head and then like the head comes down. Oh like, my for, God. Like, and JJ like, ah! like freaking ah! out. <laughs> like, ah! I literally, it's, 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 we're literally at work. My boss was like, Hey, we're going to have a chill. We're going to do some training in the morning. And then the rest of the day is just chill. So I brought in my PSVR to work. And after our training, like he tried it, JJ tried it. This, the secretary was working there. She tried it. This is like, it was so funny watching like, everyone's reaction, but Resident you got to find that you yeah, may the, need it one day for JJ blackmail. The one, the one of JJ, yeah, I got to find that. That was a good, 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 good pull, but man. Yeah. Such such good games. Um, and I hope this next one's good too. Um now I'm trying to think. So we got the remake last year. So yeah, as far as their mm -hmm. calendar is, is five concerned, remake is up next. Five remake is next, but what I was gonna say, because right now they're on track for basically every other year a game it, some some game comes out one one way or another. So I wonder if uh, and because they always release like in February, so it's like uh, I wonder if the next game is going to be nine, and it'll be this coming February, right? Could we see a trailer at Game Awards? Because that's where we've gotten trailers before, it's, I think. It's a possibility. I don't think do you there's think they any slide, kind of a lock you can put on it. Yeah, or do you think they slide one more remake in there, like they give us five before we get nine? No. Nah. I think you got to keep the gravy train rolling. Yeah, because like it's pretty much been uh, I guess I could look up like their exact release schedule, but it's pretty much been every other year. Something's coming out and it's pretty it's almost alternated, right? It was like seven and a remake and then. Oh, no, we had two remakes in a row. We did have two and then three. They did do. That. Right. I forgot. But I feel like those were more of a double pack. Like they were the yeah. same game. They just got split. That's true. That's why That's they were true. able to come out at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, 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 that would be sick. That'd be sick to get nine sooner than later, but I don't know. We'll see. Man, a remake of five would be cool, honestly. Like, five is great. A remake of six, actually, to make it good would yeah, be that's great. True. That's true. That's true. But like a five <laughs> remake where they could, uh, um, because really, the, Honestly, those games hold up still today. Like, I feel like when I got uh, PlayStation Plus, because you can stream it on there, I can play the PS3 version of it. 
it mm. plays pretty all right. And like the story, the world, like everything look like graphic wise, like it's a killer game, but it's the controls. That's what holds it back. They had some wonky controls at the time. And if they could just give it updated controls, honestly, it's like, all right, yeah, we're cooking now. <laughs> like this could be such an easy remake for them, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, but you know how these companies are, man. Like they'll just do anything that they want to do with because they know you're going to buy it. So yeah. they don't have to, they feel like they don't have to adhere to what, when, you know, when people tell them, oh, you, you should do this because the old game did that. And they're like, eh, you're going to buy it because it has the old game's name on it. <laughs> That's the problem. And it's true. That's true. They got me. They got me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast. Remember, if you want to watch the whole episode, the full episode link will be in the description below. You can click on that and uh, check it out. We got listener questions. We got more news segments. We got uh, what you plan. We got a lot of fun things. So yeah, more than just the news. There's a little more, a, a lot more to the show that you should go check out. So remember, click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.